the ERC-1155 token standard is probably the most flexible token standard out there to date, and it can support a variety of use cases. Uh, you can almost think of this as a combination of the ERC-20 and ERC-721 token standards, as it can support either fungible or non-fungible tokens. Uh, actually, a single ERC-1155 contract can support both of these tokens at the same time. Uh, so this is really perfect for uh, something like collectible cards, where there is a somewhat small set of cards, uh, and then there are limited amounts of each card, but they are not necessarily unique from one another. Uh, the 1155 standard also has some efficiency gains when it comes to transfers. So for example, it can transfer multiple tokens within a single transaction, which is different from ERC-20 or 721. The ERC-1155 proxy is responsible for decoding data in an order specific to this standard, and it is also responsible for performing the transfer on the user's behalf. Um, much like the other asset proxies, users are also required to approve this contract to spend their ERC-1155 tokens before they may begin trading them over the protocol. So if we have an order containing some ERC-1155 metadata, a taker submits that order to the exchange contract, which then calls into the ERC-1155 proxy. Uh, the ERC-1155 token will be debited from one of the trader's accounts and credited to the other trader's account. Uh, and this will happen for each transfer involved in the trade. 